Hi everyone and welcome to this Scratch Junior tutorial. This is tutorial number seven where we'll be making some characters do a dance. You can find this lesson on the Scratch Junior website which is linked in the description below. So let's begin by starting a new project. And let's find the background that looks like a stage, which is this one, and press the tick. We don't need to scratch the cat for this one, so hold your finger on the character to make it jiggle and press the X to get rid of it. Let's find two characters that can dance. So let's scroll down until we find our people. I'm going to choose this one and press the tick. And then I need another one to be dancing with that character. Let's scroll down again. Oops. And let's pick the old man here and press the tick. So let's move our characters to their starting place. Let's put them in the spotlight here. So it's time to make our programs. We're going to start with our child. And we want the code to start with the green flags. So let's drag a green flag down. And we're going to add some sounds. So go into the green uh, blocks here. And we're just going to choose the pop sound for this one. And I might do, let's do five of them. Let's put five pop sounds in here. And we want that to keep going. We don't want that to stop. So our end block this time won't be this one. It'll be this one with the two arrows. And you can see the arrows join into each other, which indicates that it's going to keep repeating instead of stopping at the end. Now, that's only going to make some sound when the code starts. We want the character to also be dancing. So let's add some more code to the child by pressing on the green flag. And let's choose some movements. So let's do our move left, move right, a hop, and two movements to the right. And we want to end it with the same repeat end block. Okay, and that's our code for our child. You'll see there's two different lots of code. Let's move to our grandfather. And this time, our grandfather's going to start dancing, not by the green flag or not by tapping. It's going to start when the child bumps into him. So let's drag the bump start block onto the board and choose some movements. So it doesn't really matter which movements you choose here. I'm just going to go move, turn left, turn right, hop, Move right and move left. And again, we want to use the repeating end block. So let's press the green flag to see what happens when our code begins. And there's our grandfather starting as it gets bumped into. And that will just keep going and going and going. So I'm going to press the stop one here to stop it. So now it's your turn. And once you're finished, have a think about if you can make other things happen when one character touches another. So try the disappear block. How can you use the speed block to change how the characters move? Thanks for watching and remember you can find an easy to follow version of this tutorial by visiting the Scratch Junior website which is linked in the description below. Until next time, happy coding.